okay so i'm back with another watercoloring video today we're going to be working with some 613 hair from wiggins hair company i got four bundles of 24 inches and a i think it was an 18 inch frontal or a 20 inch frontal um i'm just showing you a bit of the hair now like the hair is really soft i've had their black hair before but their blonde hair feels as soft as the black hair so so far so good so i just showed you literally that i sprayed got to be on the lace of the frontal just so i don't stain their lace while watercoloring and then i'm going to be using a door dye so i'm going to be using lavender and i'm just this video is you're going to see like a little bit of trial and error because what i did at first was i put um lavender in the water and i mixed it all i didn't use any other color apart from lavender and when I put the hair in, I just started to realise that the hair, it wasn't the colour that I wanted. Like, you guys will see. I was going for, like, a deep plum look and it came, like, a little bit... I don't know, like, the lavender just wasn't lavender. It kind of looked a bit grey to me. But either way, like, when you watercolour, you want to make sure that all of the hair is getting like submerged you want to make sure all the hair in between the tracks is getting submerged as well so that's why like i kind of let it sit in the water for maybe like five minutes just so that the color could like really 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 get soaked through so after dyeing like um one of the bundles i realized the color wasn't right so i tried again with the frontal um because i was doing like the patch kind of thing i separated the patch and i kind of held it while i was maneuvering the like the hair throughout the water so i held the patch and then i would move the hair throughout the water and then still it was just like the color just wasn't working for the patch to get like the lighter color at the front i got some clean water and then i went in with a different adore dye i think this dye was soft lavender so it was a little bit like it was a bit more vibrant it wasn't what i expected it was a lot more vibrant so um i mixed that all in and then i put the whole of the frontal in and then i just let it sit so i was moving it like back and forth just so it could get like a nice like gradient going through the hair if you feel like it's not dark enough don't feel be afraid to add more dye to the water because the stronger the dye is in the water the more intense the color is gonna come out so this is like a different day now so i had enough <laughs> i went in with two different colors i went in with violet gem and i went in with um eggplant and i dyed the other bundles so as you can see this time the bundles was way 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 more vivid like the color was proper like i liked this color way way better so this is just to show you guys that like trial and error is a real thing like just because on youtube the end result might seem great just know <laughs> we went through how just to get these colors so yeah i chose violet gem and purple eggplant and yeah the color was way way nicer So you'll just see me go in and dye like all the other bundles. I also re-dyed the first bundle um, just so it could be that nice violet colour. And by the end of it, you could see like there was loads of different highlights in the hair. So I think the fact that I used two colours, it made like highlights in the hair, which was cute. I really liked that because it just makes it look a little bit more natural. I feel like when the colour is just one colour, it looks a bit costumey. That really wasn't what I was going for. So the fact that there was natural highlights in the bundles, I was really happy with that, to be honest. So, once the, um, you've done all of that, I let my bundles air dry. And then I just took a spandex skirt dome cap. Don't ask me why it's this colour. <laughs> um, I ran out of black caps, so yeah, this had to just make do. This is probably not going to be too detailed, but I'm just going to briefly going to go over how I make my frontal wigs. So once you've sewn down your, well, secured down your wig cap, you just want to secure down your frontal. And I put it like probably maybe about an inch in front. So because of the way my hairline is, I put the ears, like the two sides, further out. So what I do is I start in the middle and then I do each side at a time. So when I sew my um, frontal down, I put point my needle downward so instead of like sewing upward I sew downward
so once your um frontals all sewn down and i doubled the tracks because this was four bundles remember so i needed to make sure that all of the hair was gonna fit on because i wanted the wig to be super super full so i doubled the tracks and i'm still going downward when you're sewing your wig onto um a dome cap when you're going across the band you want to make sure that you don't sew into the band because it just makes the wig like it loses the stretch so when you start sewing through the elastic the wig just loses its stretch so only sew through the material and if you find it hard to like figure out where the material is and where the elastic is kind of pull the um the thread that you just threaded like towards you and it will show you the material so yeah i'm just gonna let you guys watch and yeah everything else is like really self-explanatory i'm flipping over the track so what i do is i'll go down once through the weft and then i'll go up through the weft and then literally just flip it over like that's how i did my flip over um you'll see me do it again If you guys have any questions about like my method that you see in the video or if you have any questions about the hair or dye feel free to message me um or you can comment down below which is better for you uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe also if you like this wig as well i'm gonna be selling it on my online boutique that i'm opening woo -woo. so i'm gonna be selling like wigs and lashes um, and bundles as well bundles and frontals so that will be linked down below if you guys want to order i am working on doing um worldwide shipping as well yes honey worldwide shipping so definitely check out my website because this wig will be on there if you guys um are too scared to do the color yourself i can do that for you but yeah guys thanks for watching once again and i see you guys in my next video bye Just your tracks through.